and it literally took two weeks. Why do you think I got yeast growing on my face? This is so thick. Ah! It's pretty. This is chiffon, so it's very lightweight. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. Good morning, world. I am back with another walkie walk. Your girl is tired, okay? I thought I was gonna get up this morning and play tennis, but I don't know about all of that. But we're gonna take a nice, brisk walk this morning. Um, I set the goal for myself to lose 10 pounds before summertime came because I recently just gained a bunch of weight and I can't, mm -mm, I don't like it. Right now, I'm like 196. The goal is to get down to 186. Um, actually, right now, I'm actually 194. So I'm making progress. Look at so. the geese. I think geese are harmless. So I think I'll be able just to walk right past them. This is gonna be on video. So hopefully they don't um, attack me. Oh, I don't want them to attack me. Don't attack me. Do not attack me, geese. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, geese are harmless, y'all. One day, I'm going to roll down one of these hills. I rolled down a hill one time when I was little, and it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, have y'all ever rolled down a hill before? It's really fun. But I want to do it when the grass is not wet because that's yucky. Hey, y'all. I'm so mad I forgot my running jacket, my walking jacket. I just got off of work, and I'm in my whole Jill Bab outfit. <laughs> Now, normally, I would just take this off because I have on leggings and my running jacket that's a little bit longer, so it covers my big booty. But I forgot it, so I have to do my little walk in this outfit. And it's not that it's super hot, but I just prefer to be in my running jacket. But it is 98 degrees out here, just to show y'all how committed I am to, you know, losing weight. I'm out here on the track in almost 100 degree weather. Hey y'all, I just received my Sephora package. When you guys order from Sephora, how long do it normally take? Because this is my first time ordering online from them and it literally took two weeks for me to get something. Two weeks, that's unacceptable. With Amazon out here, all these other companies shipping my stuff out good. Why is it taking y'all two weeks to ship my stuff out? I don't like that, but let me just show y'all what I got. I ain't got no tripod or nothing, so. Yeah, I just got to see the unbox it process very oh ghetto leaf so okay so i got this some vitamin c vitamin c is supposed to be good with brightening your face and making your skin tone even but this is from the ordinary i got oh i've been wanting to try this but i didn't want to spend 40 dollars for it this is the settings the setting powder um by laura mercier and um, they gave this to me as a birthday gift. So make sure y'all got y'all Sephora. I mean, make sure y'all got y'all birthday in the Sephora app just so you guys can get free gifts. And don't mind my nails, y'all. I know I have to get them done. Anyways, I got this retinol. This is supposed to be good for the eyes. They also have like a specific eye cream, like an eye retinol. I should have got that one because y'all know I be suffering with my dark circles, but oh, okay. I see that it says to use in the PM only. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all know how I like this. Last but not least, I got this. I've been hearing some really good reviews about this. It's for like brightening hyperpigmentation and things like that. So I'm really excited about this because a lot of people have been saying that it works. And I have these like dark marks on my cheeks. So I want this to be able to get rid of that. Um, I don't know if it will work for uh my dark circles but i'm going to walmart today to pick up some eye cream i've seen some reviews on so i'll let y'all see that when i get off of work this is their sad 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 survey section and they don't have the eye cream that i was looking for so i'm gonna just order it off amazon i have to go for a little run and when I say run, I do mean run. I'm gonna try to run the whole mile today. This is my outfit of the day. I got this cute jacket from Walmart. It has these little things right here, so you can kind of cinch it in, but I still don't look too, you know, cinched. 
and it covers my behind i think this jacket is like a 2x um i really don't like running with my hijab on or maybe i haven't like found the right material for like a workout sports hijab so i'm just going to be wearing my hood with a sun visor so i don't have anything up under here but the hood does like cinch too so it's not gonna just like the wind is not gonna blow it off but yeah this is what I'm wearing. My sneakers are in the car. And yeah, today I'm going to try to run the entire mile. We're going to see how long that takes me. This path, it's hilly. So I expect it's going to take me around like 15 minutes to run it. If I get under that, I'm going to be really excited. This is going to be my first time like running a mile since like last year when I did that run a mile for a week thing. If you want to see that video, check it out. Also, Wendy's has a strawberry frosty i just learned this like five minutes ago ten minutes ago and i will be going to go find one when i finish from my run but i just want to show y'all my cute outfit and my cute jacket it is a windbreaker and the pockets the pockets zip so i really like that about this jacket but yeah let me go okay i'm walking yes i'm walking i ran half a mile almost half a mile in about uh, six minutes and 49 seconds something like that but my little legs was giving out i couldn't run no more so i'm um, um, doing like a little fast little walk like i said this path is very hilly so when i had to run on a hill my legs was so freaking tired so um i'm gonna try to run again i'm still trying to make it under 15 minutes or like 15 30 maybe i don't know Whew, so i'm finished I finished at 16 minutes and 38 seconds. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I really want to see what's the fastest I will be able to run a mile. I want to do it on something flat because these hills be taking me out the game. Like these hills, woo, ain't no joke, honey. There's also a, a football field around here and it has a track around it. So I think if you run around that four times, that's a mile. So. Um, I'm gonna try that one day. Maybe tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Whew. Your girl is tired. Now I gotta run all the way back to my car. Oh, wish me luck. Hey y'all. So I just finished running back and yes, I am laying on the grass. I literally keep a blanket in my car just so I could pass out after a run. So coming back, it was actually 1436. I feel like because the trail is so hilly, the hill part, like I'm running downhill this time, it makes me go faster but at least i'm at my 15 minute mark uh one day inshallah i would love to be able to run them out in around 10 minutes but who knows if that's going to happen this summer matter of fact that's going to be my goal this summer my goal this summer is to be able to run a mile in about around 10 minutes no 10 minutes or less that's the goal y'all strawberry frosty ooh, ooh. This joint is so thick. Like I have to scoop it out because this is so thick. But it's so good, y'all. Y'all have got to try it. Oh, so I just wanted to show y'all my new abaya that I got from AliExpress. Don't sleep on AliExpress, y'all. I love it. Look how big the sleeves are. I really love the big white sleeves. And I like how long it is. Like you can't see my little feet. And it comes with a belt. Please excuse the horrible lighting, but this is it with the belt. I forgot how much it was, but I'm just gonna put the price on the screen, but I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. When y'all order off AliExpress, just make sure y'all read the reviews. I love it. It's so soft and flowy. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Let me show y'all the other one I got. Y'all know I am in love with pink. Sorry for the lighting, but this is the second abaya. It's an open abaya. I don't know if I was feeling it at first, but I'm it's slowly starting to grow on me. It's pretty. This is chiffon, so it's very lightweight. You could just throw this over anything and it'll be great. It also comes with a belt and a matching scarf. So this is the belt and this is the scarf. I love how it's an exact match because sometimes when you buy things, you it's hard to find the exact same color for the scarf, but 
I like that it came with one. So get y'all stuff off AliExpress. I'll put the price somewhere on the screen as well. And I'll also try to put the links in my description box. So if you're looking for them, they're gonna be there. I'm currently at work, working, okay? I'm packing these orders. We can send them out later. If y'all don't know, I work at Alsham Abayas. Get y'all some cute Abayas, y'all. Packing this order up. Because we gotta send this stuff out today and we got a lot of stuff to do. My team comes in at about 12 o'clock. I am the store manager. And um, I wanna just get straight into doing other things that don't involve packing orders because we got stuff to do. I hope Miss Rhinum enjoys it. Thank you for shopping at Al Sham Sabayas. You guys can shop at shamswear.com. If y'all was wondering if the sleeves are getting on my nerves, they are. So I'm gonna be continuing to pack without my abaya on. I have a sleeveless dress on underneath this, so I can't continue filming. But yes, that's the packing process. My outfit for today. These are the sleeves in question. But they're so cute and girly. I love them. Don't mind my Crocs. Listen, Crocs are super comfy for work. If you don't know, now you know. I know they're not the cutest, but they are comfy. My boss knows that I love these. So she always buys a lot. She got two packs now. These are seaweed snacks, but they're teriyaki. They're boosting with flavor, honey. These got some flavor. And they're only 25 calories. And it got one gram of protein. Let me see the sodium. 30. 30. Oh my gosh. But they good though. These are so good. If you guys like seaweed snacks, these are the seaweed snacks for you. Try the teriyaki ones. And let me know in the comments if you ever tried any other flavor. I know they have different flavors. Oh, I tried the wasabi ones one time and they were so freaking good. Hey, so this is the last part of the vlog. I am exhausted. I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime skincare routine. So let's get into it, honey. So to take off my makeup, I've been using this. But I think it works really freaking good. Just got my regular roll cotton pads. There's a mirror here and then there's a mirror there. So that's why sometimes I might be looking in two different places. I just want to make sure you guys can see me. I typically just use one pad. Look at it. Look at all that makeup. Just one pad and then I use an actual makeup wipe to get any excess off. These are the wipes that I'm using. They're nothing special. I get these from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. A dollar twenty-five actually because Dollar Tree did go up on their prices. So this is my face. Here we are. These are the spots I was telling you about. That is like hyperpigmentation here and then here on both sides. Like, I don't know where this stuff came from, but I have something right here and I have something right here. And underneath my chin, I have something. And my neck is a little dark right here, but I think this is from my scarf. I don't know, but I'm trying to get rid of it. You can't really see on camera how bad my circles are, but they're kind of sort of bad. Let me just turn off my ring light so you guys can see. First of all, white light white light will humble you real quick because look how dark my circles look that looks so freaking dark oh my gosh but yeah here's more of the hyperpigmentation i was telling you guys about but anyways let's continue with this nighttime skincare routine as y'all can see my circles don't look as bad in this lighting thank god but yeah something right here right here right here I got some acne over here just because I've been eating bad. I typically don't have very acne prone skin, but 
Anyway, let's start with this. I bought this. This is from Minimo. It's a glow turmeric face scrub. Turmeric has a lot of great properties. I'll put it on the screen. It's supposed to help even out your skin tone and all that jazzy stuff. And normally I don't like turmeric because I just feel like all these like masks or whatever, they don't really do anything. It's just the dye from the turmeric that makes your face look clear. And then when you stop using it, you have all these marks again. But I feel like this one doesn't have strong dye. Like when I use it, my tub isn't yellow. My hands aren't yellow. It's not staining my clothes. So this might be really good. I don't know yet. It smells so freaking good. Like it smells so good. It has a really sweet smell. Um, I saw really good reviews on it. So I was like, let me try it out because I specifically saw a girl in the reviews that had dark marks right here and her joints cleared up. So hopefully mine's cleared up as well, but let's get into it, hunty. Oh, I just really love the way this smells. Like I'm one for smells and this joint smells so freaking good. These are my hands after applying it. And I'm just gonna wash my hands so you can see how it doesn't stain. This was like $28 and it's also on Amazon but her shipping was actually really fast too. So either on the website or Amazon should be just as fine. So look at that, no stain, really good. It says to leave it on for 10 minutes. I really just focus it on this area right here because this is where I have a problem. So I don't need it everywhere else. 10 minutes and I'll see you later. 10 minutes are up, so it's time to wash this off my face. This face scrub also came with this little scrubby thing. So it's time to get this up off me. Next, we're gonna go in with some black soap. We're gonna get all that extra turmeric dye off. I double wash my face, well, triple wash my face because I wash my face with this black soap. I also use this CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser. So both of these, y'all. And it looks like I'm scrubbing my face really hard, but I'm really not because these bristles are super duper soft. They're silicon, but I just gotta get all this dye off my face. Next up is some toner. I'm using the Dickinson's Hydrating Toner with rose water. I'm not too sure what toner does, but I'm gonna keep using it. Um, I might just start skipping this step just because I feel like it doesn't do anything. And I've been using this toner for like a month or two now. And I don't really feel like there's been a difference in my skin. So it might hit the rocks. After I'm done with this bottle, I might not buy another bottle. This is some cream that I got from the dermatologist. I got it prescribed to me actually. And I'm not sure exactly what it does, but when I went to the dermatologist, I told her about all this and this underneath my chin. She prescribed this to me, but when I looked it up, it was talking something about yeast. Why well, she think I got yeast growing on my face? Like she didn't really explain to me what this was for or nothing. That's why I ain't go back to her, but I'm gonna put it on there anyways, just you know, just to do anything I can to get rid of these dark marks. <laughs> I don't know what this for y'all, but it hasn't been doing my skin any harm, so I'm gonna keep using it. <laughs> now this right here, this faded stuff, this one that everybody be talking about, everybody be saying it's good, Nobody told me that this joint stink. Like this joint really stink. Nothing could have prepared me for the way this joint smell. It's funky. It smell like feet. It just stink. Like it stinks so freaking bad. I be having to hold my breath when I'm putting it on. Oh. 
thing so bad. Like, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. It smells so freaking bad. Mm. But I'm gonna rub it in. Oh. Ugh. Oh, that joint stinks so bad. Last but not least, I just picked this up. Everything else I've been doing for about a week and I've been using this for about three days now. This is from Sarah Ray. This is the eye cream repair. I saw some good reviews about this too. Um, I actually got mine off Amazon because Walmart didn't have it. But I do suggest that you guys do get it from Walmart because at Walmart it's like $10. But on Amazon it's like $13 almost. So if you could get it at Walmart, get it at Walmart. But read the reviews on Amazon and y'all might be, you know, intrigued to buy it. I'm not getting paid for this little pop-up. So these opinions are my own, honey. Last but not least, I have my moisturizer. This joint gets super thick. I raved about this in one of my last videos. And I'm still raving about it. It makes my face feel super moisturized without feeling super greasy. So I love that for me, hunty. I love it. And it smells so good. Like this is gonna balance out the smell of that nasty faded by Topicals. Cause that joint really stinks. Like I'm tentative to nasty smelling things, nasty tasting things. I can't be having stuff stinking, but luckily it's not like a lingering smell. It does go away quite fast. So as I mentioned, I've only been doing this little skincare routine for about a week now, but I will put up some before and after pictures just to see if we notice any difference. I don't think that we will, but just if y'all want to see. I really didn't think that I would see a difference within a week, but for some odd reason, my skin actually got darker in the A, B, and C. You can actually see this black patch come out of nowhere. It wasn't in the week one photo. I don't know where that came from. I'm actually going to stop using the Ordinary Vitamin C product just because that's the only one that actually burns when I put it on. So I'm gonna continue everything else except for that. So wish me luck, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you again for everything and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.